hello there. Uh, it's time for Cup of Hope. I'm Stephanie Winslow. I'm hoping that you can actually hear me. That's my one concern about all this. But anyway, we're going to try and give this a go. Um, thanks for popping on and watching Cup of Hope. And uh, today we're doing Cup of Hope from the airport, heading out of town for um, the Christmas holiday to spend some time with family. So. I wanted to just pop in and I'm um, not going to take up too much time today because of the circumstances of travel, but I do want to just carry on what we've been talking about, with the, which is this, what the season of waiting that we're in, the season of Advent, and um, today is the part of Abraham's story where he is actually given the covenant from God. Uh, and so I'm going to read this section of scripture to you, Genesis 17, 10 through 11, it says, here is the covenant which you are to keep between me and you, along with your descendants after you. Every male among you is to be circumcised. Every male among you is to be circumcised. This was the sign of the covenant between God and Abraham. This was a daily remembrance for Abraham of the promise that God had made to him. Um, and for him, not only for him, but for the future generations that would come out of him. And keep in mind, at this point, he still had not had a son. He still had not had the heir that God had promised him through Sarah. Um, but God was showing him yet another um, symbol of his promise, that would, his promise would actually be fulfilled through his line with Sarah. What I also love about this section is that a couple verses later, um, and we're going to talk about this tomorrow, but he um, speaks a word over Sarah. And what, what came to my mind as I was reading these verses, preparing for this, was just that in the same way that the, the cup of juice that we drink for, for the Passover or our uh, communion time, and the matzah bread that we take and eat is a symbol of, of Jesus' blood and the symbol of his body, this symbol of, of the covenant with Abraham and the circumcision of his body and the, the, the males in his family. It's also a promise of Jesus and his, um, his, what he did for us on the cross, right? That the, what his body went through, the blood that was spilt, his body that was pierced and bruised. That's a symbol that we can rest on and the promise of Jesus Christ and what he will do for us. But it's also the same with Abram. Abram was given this covenant of, of his body and um, I, I, I just had to chuckle. I was thinking about this too. What in the world kind of conversation would Abraham had when he went back to uh, his tent and was having to tell the men that were under his care, the servants, uh, you know, the people who were living with him, um, by the way, today you're going to be circumcised. <laughs> like, sorry, you know, lucky you, you get to be a part of this, um, you get to be a part of this awesome family and this lineage and I can only imagine the conversations around the dinner table that night of what that might have looked like um, but also just the, the remembrance of how awesome it is to to step into a promise and this physical reminder and I just was wondering um, that this is another test of obedience for Abraham, right? It's something I'm sure that uh, <laughs> it's totally not comfortable, especially at age 99, uh, to sacrifice a part of your, your physical body, um, to, to cut away a part of your physical body. And so I just wonder what it would have been like uh, for him at this, this time, but also what it is like for us when God asks us to lay something down, a physical part of ourselves, um, I think it's hard for us to get our minds around what that's like, to lay down a part of ourselves. But even in the season of waiting, Abram was asked to give up something, uh, a big part of himself. He was asked to give up a part of himself. And I'm just wondering for you, in your season of waiting, what is it that God is asking you to lay down and to trust him with? What is it that God is asking you to give of yourself, to, to lay down um, and sacrifice for him? in the waiting while you're still anticipating the promise while you're still in the season of waiting what is it that he's coming to you and asking you for and it's not probably going to be a thing that's comfortable um, in the same way that it wasn't comfortable for abram uh, and and uh, the rest of the men under his care but i just 
I'm, I'm curious and maybe if you're comfortable sharing something like this would you be willing to share what God is asking you to physically lay down um, I know for me it's oftentimes just uh, it's the sacrifice of um, what I like to do my schedule and my time I'm very regimented and and how I eat and uh, how I run my day I like my day and my my schedule being very um, ironed out and so when I'm sacrificing for God it sometimes it looks like me just laying down that schedule and saying God have your way and um and it is a physical uh, surrender because I I like exercising and I like going on walks and I like doing all these things but God is asking me sometimes to lay down what my agenda for him and so in this, as we look at Abraham in this covenant that he entered into with God was he, he was being circumcised and just the next step in the promise, it's an opportunity for him to step into obedience. What obedience is God asking you to step into in this season of waiting for you? So I'm going to pray over us that God would reveal to us what it is that he's been asking us. Or it, it, maybe this is just not the season for you. And that's cool too. It's not that everybody's not in the same season. So just want to pray for us that we have the courage to step into obedience. Whether it's physical obedience um, or maybe it's spiritual obedience. Whatever it might be for us. Um, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just come before you here in the middle of the airport, Lord, and I just am so blessed that I have the opportunity that no matter where I am, that I have um, the ability to speak your word and your truth. God, I thank you for the promise that you gave and spoke over Abraham, the symbol of the covenant, the, the circumcision that you asked him to enter into this covenant. God, he could have said no. He could have said, I'm not doing that. I'm not putting uh, the men in my family through that. Just no. He could have just flat out disobeyed. And so, Father, I thank you for the obedience that Abraham uh, took, the steps of obedience that he took. I pray that you would give us that same kind of courage, that we too would be willing to step into courage and to step into the, the obedience that you're asking us to walk into. Physical obedience, spiritual obedience, God, whatever it looks like in our individual lives, I pray that you would help us to enter into that obedience. I pray all of this in Jesus' precious and holy name. And may each and every one be blessed today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, I know it's a little crazy. I lost my earbud. Hopefully you could all hear me. And uh, I, I should be back with you tomorrow from a, a new location as we're traveling. But uh, I appreciate you taking the time to spend time in the Word of God and be blessed by the cup of hope. Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.